Insanity. Squee. We're doing a play per view. Play per view. It's a fox crate. I've been wanting to look at this game for a while. You've been talking about it. I'm just glad that we found the time to sit down and play it together. Yeah. Well, it's just really cute. And I don't even remember where I found out about it. But it's very, very indie. I think it's just one guy that made it. Okay. And it really does show in the art style. It's very simplistic, very like doodly scratch paper. But just from the little I saw on the uh, the Steam release of it, just simple little like delivery furry indie game thing. Hmm. I wanted to check it out. I feel like it's a cute little game. So now, have you played this at all before? No. First time I've ever loaded it. Failures. So I guess that's like how many lives you get. You loop, fail five times and you lose. Oh, they got a whole bunch of little guys in here. Who do you think? Hmm. Go through our Flynn options again. Flynn looks like normal. This one looks like very fast, but I guess like hard mode. This one looks like easy mode. That one... I don't know, very similar to normal mode? Yeah. Who do you think? Just normal guy, or do you want to go for one of these others? Let's just try Flynn. Start it's out with normal. the normal everything. and. Okay. So I guess we're here, and those must be deliveries we need to make? Must be. Uh... Okay, put that box there, that box there. Oh, I wonder if that means I have to like take from the top. Well, this could work. We can do this one, that one, and then that one, I think. Hopefully. Let's go. Let's go here. Whee. Uh, packages. There was something just really charming about this. Uh, oh, am I done? Oh. I think there was something about, like, the way everything kind of jiggles. It puts me in mind of the old school, like, Disney games. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I had, like... Yeah, your time. Well, here, motherfucker. Uh, time to go. I left your shit. Good luck. Look at that, got a package. Nice. Now you've only got a minute and ten seconds left to deliver the last two. I think we'll be fine. I hope so. Let's see, take this one. Uh, let's try dropping it and then ringing the doorbell. Nope. Oh. Hello? There you go. What are you mad about? Did you give him the right package? Ugh. <sighs> Apparently not. All right, hold on. So that could maybe this is hers. Better hurry up. Yeah, suddenly time's a factor. Told you it would be. There you go. Time to go. Hurry, squee, hurry. All right. So he's got his probably. Hopefully. I didn't realize this was gonna be like a stressful thing. I thought it'd just be like a cute little furry fox thing. Nope, you get all the stress. Hello? I need your signature. Oh my god, you take so long to sign. <laughs> Packages with the yellow sectors must be signed. Always ring the doorbell. Oh. Oh, we get like an upgrade. Nice. Extra packages, more time. That's so not a... a slower truck? That's not an upgrade, that's a downgrade. Which, which downgrade do we want? Uh... I would say go for the slower truck speed. Yeah, we don't spend much time doing truck stuff. No, and you have lots so of packages. So I would I would go for the ones closest to you first. So well but that means I need to load the furthest ones first so that they're at the back of the pile. I would go for that one on the right first. Yeah. So let's there's six of them. So let's do that one. And then we'll do, like, a big loop. 
And then this one. And this one. And this one. So we start here and just do a circle around these. Okay. Now you should just be able to drop all of these off. You shouldn't need a signature then. I assume so. I guess the signature is only if you choose that downgrade. Can I just put this here and go? I'm a cute little fox guy. Yeah, I guess so. Check mark. Nice. All right. So this is pretty easy. I wonder if we're going to get a new uh, downgrade every time. Maybe. Like instead of rewarding you, the game just gets progressively harder. And What's angrier. This guy about? Yeah. Oh, you think this is the one downgrade we have? Slow truck? Yeah. They must Here stack too, huh? Oh, do you think we can get like double snail? Or triple the snail? Point where the truck's just like. Arr. Which way did I stack these? Uh, the right should be your next one. It actually tells you, Squee. Does it? Look at your map. When you go across the packages, it tells you which one the package oh, is Oh, hell for. yeah. Cool. There you go. Good luck. If that porch bandit doesn't steal your shit again. The Amazon bandit strikes again. I think another reason I... I thought this game was charming was I like when there's like a furry or anthro character but the game isn't overtly furry yeah like, yeah he doesn't have to be a fox he could be anything good old furry squee well it irritates me when someone's like I'm going to make a furry game about furries with furries in it like no just have animal characters it doesn't have to be a furry game Ooh. Heavy traffic areas. Have we seen a heavy traffic area? I don't think we have. That's Do our double go snail. For the slowest truck. Go for the slow truck. Slow truck. Slow truck. I bet you that's a heavy traffic area. Yep. Oh, this is. Hmm. How do we want to deliver these? Obviously, your farthest away one you want in the back. Yeah. So we'll put that back there. See, uh, think like maybe over here and then loop around. That's like kind of yeah. I guess then we want this one, this one, this one. I can see how this is going to become very complicated later. Yeah. Your way of stacking okay. them makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah, I forgot how I just did that. You went... So you're working from right to left for some reason. Uh-huh. And it makes me very uncomfortable because it, sh it should be left to right, but you went right to left. I Well, look. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God, that is slow. <laughs> You're like oh, a turtle. Double snail. Apparently I do everything backwards. Like, my uh my mouse buttons are always reversed. And when I play Minecraft, Klebs has told me I put everything on the wrong spot on my hotbar. Well, don't listen to Klebs. I don't know, he's the gamer. He he tends to know what he's up to. He's also racist. Extremely racist. He hates foxes. Just, I don't get it. He's so against right. the fox. Mm -hmm. Calls them all sorts of F slurs. It's really intense, actually. I feel bad for his partner. She, he never calls them foxy. No, he can't. Like, if she says anything, like you know, Klebs, you're, you're awfully foxy tonight. He, he just, just freaks out. He starts throwing stuff. Mm hmm blind rage. Just the re-rage. And I thought it was like a furry thing, but I think it's just because he's racist towards foxes. Could be. Oh my god, go. You know what's funny to me? How now when we're just mm. regular slow, it seems fast. Yeah, that's true. Like, 
not being in a high traffic zone is like, oh my god, we're booking. Delivering yeah. at the speed of snail. Oh god. <laughs> That's an insult to snails everywhere. It is, and I'm not snail racist like Klebs. I think Klebs is just animal racist. Yeah, just generally hates animals. He's he the only race he likes is the human race. And even that's dubious. At best. Come on. Come on! You know, with the debuffs, it really reminds me of Plato. Yeah, it kind of does. And even, like, the cute little tinkle music's very played up y Mm-hmm. Whee! I'll bet On you the go. creator's probably a big fan of played up or it, They had to draw some inspiration from played up I would think. I mean, if it's just one guy, and... They're obviously big into indie games. Played Up was like a one guy indie project. That's true. I wonder if the creator did all the art for the game too or not. Think on the main page there were only two credits it was the creator and an artist. Although I do wonder who the artist is. Like, you think it's a friend of his, or just someone he hired, or like girlfriend, or it could be just some associate. Oh my! Oh my! Oh man! This is an awfully punishing game for how cute it is. I think you're gonna have to go with incoming pickups because you think. Well, must pick up packages. Where do they go? Do I have to deliver them to other places, or just put them in the truck? That's a it good gives question. Us 40 more seconds. So we've got to do 12 packages tomorrow. We have an extra 40 seconds. And then we can either be totally fucking lost looking for 12 packages or get an extra 40 seconds but have to deal with 15 packages. Right. I think. I mean, I think we take the extra time, right? This is basically just adding an extra day. Yeah. As long as all we have to do is put them in the truck. Three, six, nine, yeah. So we only have the 12. But then we nice, have the pickups. Big, convenient. I really hope they don't have to come back to the base. I would, I would be surprised if they do. So I guess let's start. Oh, God, where am I going to put them? Far back in the right. Oh, the right? Yes, you work left to right, Squee. Back here? Yes. Okay. Oh, hell, I can just click the house. That's great. Should we stack vertically? Since we're going to be picking stuff up as well. Yeah, I would. Ooh, we can go real high. Do we go real high? We gotta go real high. Yeah, we gotta go real high. Because we have another three packages we have to pick up, too. Yeah. So if you I guess were, we'll just do like. Hmm? If you were gonna get into game design, what would you create for a game? What would you draw from? Huh. Well, what kind of game would I make? I guess that would determine what my inspiration was. I feel like as much as I like shooters and racers and survival games, I'd probably honestly do some sort of city builder. See, I've always had it in the back of my mind making a game no. kind of like Age of Empires. But my problem okay. with Age of Empires is it's so focused on the combat and not just growing your city. Mm, that I see what you mean. I, I could see it being a lot more fun if you could actually grow your empire through the ages and have it take a little bit longer. Yeah. So almost like um almost like uh like Tropico or something, but where occasionally you just have all out war. Yeah. Hmm. There was a game a few years ago, and the people who like it still defend it to the death, but I'm not quite so lenient on it. It was called Banished, and it was your typical, like, small colony city builder along the lines of Tropico and all those other little ones. 
And it was really good for what it did. But... It was totally abandoned by the developers, and there's no end game. Like, Sounds like an Ark. early game? Sort of, but Ark at least has an end game. It's just buggy as hell to get there. It's but just buggy game, as hell, period. Yeah, that's true. But this game, it had a really harsh beginning, a interesting, pretty full middle, and then that was it. Hmm. There was nothing else after that. That's so disappointing. There was no, like, buildings to build. There were no achievements to reach for. And you only had, like, eight or nine buildings anyways that you could build. And once you built them, that's that. Maybe I would think about making something like that, but finish it. Obviously, it wouldn't be nearly as pretty, because that game was really nice to look at. Really good sound design. But... It was unfinished, so, you know, looks great, but I'll never enjoy it. Oh, this is a problem. Alright, I'm starting to see uh, where the challenge of this game comes in. Understandably. Oh my god, there's a time limit. Alright, come on, slow as hell. Did you hear the beepity beepity beep? Beepity beepity beep? It almost sounded like a Klebs. I hope not. That'd fuck up my flow right now. Yeah, he'd just be in here being all fox racist. Mm -hmm. And snail racist. Come on, just get out. There we go, look how fast it is. Oh, that's so satisfying. It's like squeezing that last little bit of toothpaste out of the tube, and it's just bleh. Bleh. Shit, I want this. Drop on porch. So glad I don't have to ring doorbells and deal with signatures. Thank you for talking me out of that one. I have thought, though, back to the game topic. Mm -hmm. I have thought that it would be interesting just to play... I don't know if you've heard of Timberborn. Yeah, I like the look of it. The only thing I don't like about it is how grid-based it is. Yes. Everything's very square. I wish it were more organic. Like, I understand that with that kind of game, you have to have a grid-based system. Because all of those games do. You know, mm. Age of Empires, all of them do. But... Well, but then have you looked at Captain of Industry? I can't say I have. It's very in the lines of, like, Timberborn or Tropico, where... You're the captain of industry. You're, like, building oil refineries, coal mines, things like that. But then it uses a system like what Foundation uses. So as your vehicles are traveling from place to place, they organically create paths in the terrain, wearing down the grass, putting down dirt, and then eventually you can pave over them into roads. Interesting. Yeah, so it gets rid of the the annoying grid of everything, and everything's much more nice and organic. <laughs> so, I can tell you which one like we have to do. Seconds left. I can tell you which debuff you have to take. They both suck. Yeah, but one of them we've already talked about in this video, so it's just gotta happen. The Amazon bandits strike again. <sighs> but... That means I have to ring doorbells. But then taking a picture means... Hmm. Taking a picture is actually going to take you longer in the long run. Yeah. Because I have to do it for every package. Mm-hmm. And we still have to pick up three. <laughs> I'm glad that you're oh the delivery God. driver. This is a rough part of town. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this day. We'll find out. All right. Do you think there's a better way to do it? No. Like, should we do a big loop so we can just do all the fast houses first and just skip till this is our last slow zone? You could. Just like, I would catch that one that's right on the edge of the slow zone on the right in the big loop. This? Is that your Here? right? That's your right. Now go down to the edge of the slow mm -hmm. zone. 
Easy, Squee. I know it's hard for you and that you're riding in the slow zone, but... Isn't this it? Yeah, that house. I would yeah, catch we'll that. Yeah, we'll grab that. I think we'll, like, go... Hmm. God, this zigzag is so annoying. Why, why are there no more drivers on this route? They're tired of you. All right, well, this one's the last one, so it can go here, right? Yes. And then so all these are really easy. Whatever game I made, I would want it to have an equally organic feel. Even if it itself isn't super organic. Like, think of a... Uh, what's that one game? Frost something or other? Frostpunk? Frostpunk. Yeah. I did see Where... that I was browsing on Steam today, and I saw that it's on sale for $6. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's a good game. It looks nice. It plays nice. But even though the pathing is very organic, as people walk through the snow, they're creating natural paths... The building is very strictly grid. You build in the designated areas in a circle around your steam generator. Hmm. But it works because you do get the organic paths, so it kind of breaks up the square chunkiness of everything. Hmm. That is interesting. I, think I'm, I might do something like that if I made a game. It would have organic elements, but it would otherwise be pretty fixed. God, now we gotta start putting boxes and shit in here, and... Why can't you people use the post office? They have free package drop-off. So now here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. How much importance would you place on the graphics of your game? See, and that's a spot where I would get into a lot of issue. Because I notoriously am a function over fashion kind of person. Like, I don't care what something looks like as long as it does what I need it to. Right. But you can't really do that in a game. Like, even this game, some people might argue it's ugly, but I think it's really charming and cute. It definitely like, I love does the way everything have... just sort of jiggles and... It does have an appeal all its own. Mm -hmm. Like, it wouldn't be hard to make this ugly. You know what I mean? Like, right. if the if the art was just a little bit different, or if the colors were a little bit different, then you'd probably look at it and be like, ugh, or like a high schooler made this. But there's something about just, like, the way everything jiggles and is lined up, and, like, the darkness of the lines, his little face. It does have a very cutesy cutesy, deliberate, mm -hmm. methodical planning to it. Yeah. It doesn't look like this was an accidental art style, I guess is what I'm saying. Right. Like, it looks this way because they wanted it to be cute. I think the only thing it's missing is, like, a happy little dancing cloud in the background. Some little dancing rays of sunshine. Yeah, or like a little flower. And it wouldn't have to be like every beep, just like a dun 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 You know what? Yeah, like that would be Disney thing. That would be cute at like the end of the game. Having like the car just wiggling by on the road and you just have little dancing flowers. Yeah. Like that's your credit scene, the truck just bouncing along the road and the flowers with little faces on them dancing. Yeah. Alright, we're in the ghetto now. It didn't say ghetto, because this game's too cute for that, but... You know it. I know it. At least I think it's too cute for that. All I know, this is gonna be like a Doki Doki Literature Club thing. Here you go. See ya. Miss Kitty. Ooh, it's Miss Kitty. Also, do you notice that all the employees of this company are foxes? What's I that did trying now. to suggest? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Little reindeer, oh, look, man. Little deer. Yeah. See, that's the reindeer from our other series. Cult of the Lamb. 
Isn't he the one that's like super into poo? No, I don't have the reindeer yet. Oh. Who was the one you recently recruited that was, um, a non believer? That was the chicken man. Bun bun. Oh, him. Because yeah, obviously. He needs to be burned. Chickens don't believe in the meaning of anything, they're just doubters. No, it's true. Well, no, if anything, they're the ultimate doubters, because the whole chicken or the egg thing, like, that's them. Holy cow. Yeah. Science or... No, no holy cows, just chickens. <laughs> no, no, no. It's lamb, Squee. The cult of the lamb. Oh. Cult of the cow chicken. No, shush. Cow and chicken? Oh my god, is cow... You remember cow and chicken, the TV show, right? I do. Was that their version of the Bible? It could be. Here you go, buddy. I will say, I, I do have a slight complaint with the graphics, though. Mm -hmm. I wish they would have outlined the fox on the side of the truck. Yeah, I was looking at that, too. It is just a little blurry. But honestly, the fact that that's my only nitpick that I have... Alright, we did that with, like, 45 seconds left. Go for the confirm drop. Yeah? Why not? Of all packages left on porches. All you have to do what is ring the door and give it to ring... them. Well, yeah, what if it's quicker to ring the doorbell? It probably is. But that gives us 40 more seconds. But it does advance us a day. Yeah, alright. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to do a loop again. Just do all of this, and then come up through the slow zone into the ghetto. I think that's a good plan. Maybe start with that one, and then just wee. There will be a little slowness here, but that's not so bad. Alright. Doot, doot, doot. Doot. And this one, that one. I think we'll come here, then we'll go through slow zone. You know, I just had a thought. Should we have been, like, stacking everything along a wall? That way I can put picked up packages back. You could, but I don't think it makes much of a difference. No, I guess not. It's so quick to move packages around. I'm trying... Something about this art style, the way it moves, and especially this screen, reminds me of a game. But I don't... I can't tell if it's like a Mario game, or... But it reminds me of a game I've seen. Uh... Oh, shit. Oop, went to the wrong house first. Wait, I can't drop it here. Can I drop it here? Yeah, I can drop it here. See ya! I hope I can drop it here. Now, this one I can't drop. So we're gonna have to do a ring. Be great if it was like my first day and I got confused. When he answered the door, I handed it to him and took a picture of him. What is that? Like a moose? I took a picture of him holding his package. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Well, that's a different website. That's not a fox crate. That's only foxes. Yeah, only fox. Oh, shit. Not to Where be confused this with Fox News. Uh, I'm having a crisis. You just picked it up, Squeak. Now you piled on top of it. This one? Oh, I was panicking. I can, can tell. I drop? I'm gonna drop. Okay, taking a picture is not too bad. Stressful game for how cute it is. I might also like the truck to be animated too. Nothing crazy, but just like a little rumble, like the engine still running. Yeah, I could see that. Or like I said, the, a dancing tree or a cloud or something, just to put something over here. But then again, how many games have I made? And this is apparently just one guy. That's true. It is easy for us to sit here and nitpick something that somebody else mm -hmm. has made. 
But in all reality, the creator has done a fantastic job with this game. Yeah, no kidding. And just the level of ambition and creativity that goes into this, <laughs> you, you can't bag on that. Yeah, that's something I think about a lot, too, is, like, just the creativity. Like, he could have just made a Minecraft clone or another city builder. Yeah. I think it's probably also why, like, this is such a weird game. Such strange idea for a game that I assume it's one that was made because the creator wanted to make it. It has to be. Like, I doubt this is ever going to be a billion dollar, like, 12 part series, so it must just be something they really wanted to make. I will say, I am waiting for the day that somebody in the comments notices that Klebs and I have an accent. Apparently, I don't have an accent. You have an ass scent, though. I have an ass scent. Oh, yeah. Stinks. Well, when we were in Chicago, me and Lucian were really piling on the southern accent. Mm-hmm. Because people take pity on you and they think you're a dumb southerner. Well, of course, because so, like, we you're were dumb and southern. Free bus rides, and yeah, like, we'd get in and be like, Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, we're just trying to get down to the convention center. Like, do you know which way that is? And they'd be like, you know what? Here, poor baby, I'll take you there for free. Like, oh, thank you kindly. But then, you know, hey, I've lived sweet. down here for years, and I had someone once come up to me, and I was just talking to her at work, and she said, Y'all ain't from around here, is ya? Nah, as we yeah. say. I've lived here for 20 years. I'm more from around here than you are. I just learned to speak. That's fair. I do wish I had a thicker southern accent, though. Like, I really like the southern accent. It's very charming. Yeah. Could be worse. You could have the Wisconsin accent. Oh, I like the Wisconsin accent, too. Like My family's from Minnesota. Do you say bag? Bag? I don't, but I've realized I've started slowly picking up some of those, like, Midwestern noises, accents. Like, I say, uh, dragon instead of dragon. Dragon? Dragon. Baby dragon! Dragon tails. I mean, I'm nowhere near as bad as Kleb saying, like, roof instead of roof and room instead of ro room. How did you pronounce the thing that's on top of a house? A roof. Okay, now we know you're a furry. You're barking. Ruff. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm playing a little fox game. But I am not going to meet. Oh, my God. Stop taking pictures. You're checking your fucking grinder over here. Get back in the truck, Flynn. There is a uh, roofing company by us that's actually called Big Dogs Roofing or Big Dog Roofing. Ruff. And their whole saying is Big Dogs Go Rough. They do. We do. Ruff, ruff. Squee. Ruff. Quit being furry. Oh my god, we're in the slow zone. I've got 15 seconds. We're not going to do it. Not even close. It, it takes you 10 Flynn. seconds to get to the next house. Flynn. Please. <laughs> He's going to take a picture. Stop taking the picture and get in the truck, Flynn. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's so sad. Nice. Nice. Oh, he's so sad. He got fired. But it's nice. 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 That is an adorable game. I have to agree with you. I like, though, and I think it's the same thing I like about Toontown. It's a very cute, friendly game, but is challenging as hell. Right. Because I... Before we played, I haven't seen anything about this game besides, like, the, the, what the hell is it called? Not the tutorial, the little video on the Steam page. Trailer. Okay. I saw the trailer on Steam, and that's all I knew about this game. So for all I knew, it does turn into Doki Doki Literature Club at some point. That's scary. Yeah. You go to deliver a box, and the person opens the door, but then just, like, one arm comes out and grabs it. You go to the next house, and 
The door opens and just a little trickle of blood comes out of the doorstep. You know what, Hadley? You can have that one for free. For the sequel, Body Horror. I think it was updated recently, too, because I feel like the last time I looked at the Steam page, it said the only character was Flynn. Hmm. So I think he's still actively updating it. I kind of want to play it again. I might play it a little in my off time, not going to lie. Go for it. I'm not Klebs. I'm not going to tell you you can't. Oh, and you know he would, too. Oh, he would. He he'd, would just lose it at the shape of that rage. fox. Uh-huh. He'd be looking at this right now, and you just hear him breathing in the background. I can hear him now. It's just... <sighs> 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 Bye-bye. Goodbye.